Hey, it's Michael Saul, but everybody calls me Tiny, so you can too. And this video is the Day of Atonement, plus one long, one short, and updates. This is for the week of October 10th, 2016. So let's go over the stocks mentioned last week. Shutter stock pulled back a little bit midweek, tried to bounce on Friday, but wound up selling back, closing a little bit above the open. So it's still in a consolidation pattern. It's just a little, cons a little different than the consolidation pattern I had drawn in last week. There you go. Some more, it's more horizontal. So probably above. 65 is what we want to watch twitter wow so twitter broke out of the pattern pulled back nice push above 25 but then got smashed on thursday as they were saying that the rumors aren't true and that a big company isn't looking to buy them now personally i still think some sort of something is going on here that's not enough to enter a trade right oh they're eventually going to get bought out. i mean that's ridiculous but i mean when you hear that and then no no it's not true but alphabet and salesforce and, and who else is is involved in looking at Twitter I wouldn't be surprised if they got bought out but there's no buy signal here there's no way to take this so uh, if you caught a little bit of this on the upside and you, you took profits then it helped you when it got uh, shanked here but otherwise you know no way I mean obviously a trailing stop is not going to help you there because it opened up all the way down here so the only way to do it and that's why I always talk about relentlessly taking profits and then finally, Ring Central broke out, but then failed the breakout. So if you adjusted the stop, you took either a small hit or a break even, and then it came out the bottom here. So got a lower high in here. This pattern is broken as well. So not much going on on the three stocks mentioned. Last week, I have a new long and a short to watch. But first, I'm going to talk about the market. And the Day of Atonement, that is Yom Kippur, and that is Wednesday. So last week, I talked about sell Rosh Hashanah, buy Yom Kippur as a uh, seasonal trend. And yeah, if you would have sold Monday's close, I'm sorry, Friday's close, you would have made a little bit of, of money. But this is not, in my opinion, what that means. Now, I mean, some people could argue and say, well, the point is not to be long during that time. Okay, but to me, I, I was looking for selling to break out down out of this pattern it tried tuesday it tried friday held both times i still think we're going lower here on the short term i do not think we're in a bear market i do not think it will be a big correction why do i continue to say this every week because i just want you to know that i am not changing my mind and that one day i'm going to do a video after we're ripping higher and go see i knew we'd go higher well, first of all, i don't know anything i just think based on the way that the, the market is acting that we are going to break down from this now the 50-day moving average has basically caught up to this trend line so if we break over the 50-day that's the first sign that the bulls are coming back in charge here and we have to get above 218.15 to really put them in the full driver's seat. Yes, the long term, the big picture is an uptrend, okay? Like I said, not calling for a bear market, but I'm talking on the short term. On the short term, this is absolutely positively neutral. We are between the 50 and the 200 day moving average. That is neutral. Okay, gun to my head and, oh, what would you buy for a 10-year hold? I mean, come on. No, it's a short-term it's short -term analysis. That's what I do. But until this line breaks, I could be as, oh, I think we're going lower as I want. Until this line breaks, there is no confirmation. It's just a pretty-looking pattern. So we'll see what happens. Monday is um columbus day so there the banks are closed and it will likely be it will likely be whoa it will, it will likely be a like session actually it will likely be a light volume session that doesn't mean we can't move just if you're a day trader be careful because uh, you could you could potentially get whipped around all right so that's the spy let's look at the two stocks first is ananta pharmaceuticals okay it is a biotech and it is sitting right on its 200-day moving average. You see the 20 EMA coming up here. So this has to break out here, break this pattern, and get going. This high over here is 27.46. If it could get going, uh, looks like it may be able to head into the $30 handle. But got to watch for the breakout. Okay, right here, it could easily just go whoop and fall right down from here. Okay, got to watch for the breakout, but that's why these patterns are so powerful, because they forecast a move coming. 
All right, I'm looking for the upside because this was the move, this was the push that led into this. But the consolidation just means a move is coming. It doesn't doesn't necessarily tell you which direction. And the second stock is Cal Atlantic Group. Now this is a short, and you can see here it has a head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And if you're using this is the problem. So I'm going to give you two targets here. You could either use this as the neckline or this as the neckline. Don't really like using that as the neckline because we've stamped through. But let's look at the bigger one, right? So 34, 33 up to 40.94 is six dollars. No, I'm sorry. I thought, okay, you're right. Oh, I am right. Okay. So. Ah, $6.60. So that suggests that a move down of $6.60 is $27.60, something like that, right? So down here, below these lows. It looks like we've already started there. And then if you're using this as the neckline, you got $35, $35 up to $40. So you got $5.50, but you put it on that break. So that brings it down, just down to $30. So, the sh so d depending on which ta which way you're measuring it, you're either looking at a target as 30 and then under 27. So, to me, that's your first target, and move stops or take profits or however you manage, that's up to you, and then see if the second one is going to be going and if it can head down to 27s. One thing I want to do is check for earnings. I did not check for earnings on either of these. So, one second. Okay, November 21st is uh, Ananta, and this, Cal Atlantic, Cal Atlantic is dun, 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 October 26th, so still a couple of weeks going. All right? Any questions, winningedgetrader at gmail.com. Still think we're going lower, but waiting for the trend line to give way. Have a great trading week. If you are fasting Wednesday, have a great fast. And I will talk to you in next week's video.